I always advocate carrying a lot of fish hooks in your Oshite bag, gear, whatever you're carrying. Because they're good for trapping, they're good for fishing. You can use them for multiple things. I also advocate carrying blanket pins if you've got some. The only problem with blanket pins for this application is they're too big around to fit through the eyes of the fish hooks to hold them secure. So I went and got some diaper pins and they work quite well. And normally I'll carry fish hooks in like the dollar ma uh, Walmart match cases, the orange ones. The only problem with that is, if anybody's ever done that, is you've got probably 400 fish hooks all tangled together. So getting one out is always kind of an entertaining job. This way, you can keep them organized as you're sticking them together as you're carrying them the only issue i see with this would be you've got a bunch of open hooks but that can be readily taken care of with a piece of leather but you just slide slide them down and i'm not sure on the bigger bobby pin uh diaper pins bobby pins whatever you want to call them they're the shank on them may be too big to get through some of the smaller fish hooks because I tend to like the smaller fish hooks as small fish hooks catch both small fish and large fish. And if you're in a bad spot, nobody's going to be complaining about small fish if you're hungry. They will eat also. Now if you're a bragging fisherman, that might be a whole different tale. But... The idea of having these in, in the gear isn't to catch fish to brag about. It's catch fish to make it home on. See, this is the sort of thing that I'm talking about in these kits. You didn't know how that got in there. We'll have to work that out later. These are the fish hooks you can get a whole god-awful amount of them for three bucks. At Wally Mart. Once you have your section filled up, you can close the pin. It'll hold them secure. Then if you have something like an Altoids 10 or something, or even you can take a piece of leather like this, fold it over. And sew it, glue it, duct tape it, around, shut, after you cut it off. If you leave one end open, that'll allow you to slide your hooks out. But that keeps everything secure, unlike a pill bottle or something cheap like that. Whereas if you step on it, fall down, whatever, break it, and your hooks will run all through your, all through your gear. This keeps everything secure where you want it. Easy to find. Easy to pop one off, put one back in, unlike sometimes these things. Which these also break, trust me, if you ever step on, a, fall on your bag, step on your bag, drop something heavy on your bag. This full of hooks goes all through your gear. Then you have all kinds of fun getting that mess out. So it's just easier to secure them. That way you know kind of what you've got. Then each hook you can figure at least two feet of line to tie, you know, a little bit of two feet of line for each hook wrapped up in a bundle and you're good to go. This is just one simple way to carry them. I've made several other different ways. This one's cheap, easy. Most people has the stuff to do it right on hand. So, good way to do it. Smash the subscribe button such as you would your fearsome foe.